What's up, you son of a bitch? Oh, yeah. Oh, big crew. Oh, yeah, I got that. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> we do hoodlums standing outside a freaking gun store and pharmacy. I made it. Now I just got to make it back without busting my ass. <laughs> you got to squat with the homies to stay dry. <laughs> Justin's got his emotional baggage. Yeah. Whoa. This hotel room, bro. Womp womp. No one on the internet has seen this. Delicious breakfast. We all talk about yeah. somehow we got on the topic of us getting in fights back in the day, growing up. This is probably my favorite thing about this. These bags is home for snacks. <laughs> all right, today we're gonna go down to Franklin, and then we're gonna go up the hill into Highlands, North Carolina, and then go down the back end of the mountain into Georgia to the end of the Blue Ridge Parkway, which ends in Blood Mountain. We've never been there, so we're gonna check that out. And then down to go see Maxwell, their forecast. Better than yesterday, but we got rain gear on deck just in case. Yes. Falls why? Who fell? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Abraham Lincoln and hanging out together, did you know Abraham Lincoln, the fax machine, and Samurai were all existent at the same time? So the Samurai could have sent a fax to Abraham Lincoln. These things all overlapped. Ow. Alright. <laughs> Look it up, bro. Fax machine? Look it up. There was like a three or four year overlap, I think. Yep. So we're going down to check this thing out or what? Oh, I'm about shit, to get the key. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this ain't gonna be graceful. <laughs> I made it. Now I just gotta make it back without busting my ass. <laughs> there you go. You can't be up here without seeing a waterfall, right? Yeah. So me and my tough biker friends were stopped at this waterfall and we're gonna go see how majestic and just well, it's called dry fall. tough it is. Well, it's, it's super cool. You walk behind all that water, dude. Like millions of gallons flowing over the edge. It's pretty dope. Boy. You gotta squat with the homies to stay dry. <laughs> Why do they call it dry falls? Water. So happy to be able to share this moment with my homies. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bro, my sea level lungs are not made for that. <laughs> I'm in my chest. Ah. And I can't breathe. Only because of the elevation. No other reason. I am in peak physical shape right now. <laughs>
All right, made it to Blood Mountain. Didn't even realize we were on it. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> that is stretching that out. Yeah. Oh, salt. Let's uh, salt the wound. How'd they get them up there? I mean, I know throwing, but well, like some of them are really high. Damn. Just throw them as high as you can. Hope it sticks. Jeez, that's weird. What the f All right, so mile up to Overlook, turn back around, come back down Blood Mountain. Gas up yes. and carry on to John Maxwell's. Cheers, boys. Blood Mountain. <laughs> With no blood. Yeah, no blood. Burger time. Good. Damn, Greg, eating the lightest. What you got? That's the itis right there. <laughs> no, yeah. I think I'm gonna lie. All right, we're out. Lunch is done. We're all ready for a nap. Yeah, we have a long ride, so. Everybody's super checked out, so. Time to get back on the road again. Okay. Any motivational words? <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> All right, so we had to get a little bit of oil, running a little low. We added about half, three quarters of a quart. We do hoodlums standing outside a friggin' gun store and pharmacy. All right, back on the road. Long trek to Maxwell. How you feeling? You know how like when you're riding in like a bike race, bicycle race, and the guy in the front crashes and everyone just runs him over? Uh huh. That's how I feel right now. You're the guy in the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my butt. Justin, how you feeling? My butt, my neck hurts here. I mean, you looked cool. <laughs> so it was worth it, right? Yep. Like this, it's all that matters. <laughs> how you yeah, feeling, Wes? That's why cowboys walk like that. <laughs> that's right. Greg, I'm not even going to ask how you're feeling because you're great. Aren't you? You're totally fine. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'll ride the rest of the night. All right. We're checked in. Justin's got his emotional baggage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So to the left, it's a big elevator. I'm really waiting for smell of vision to exist so you guys can smell what this hotel Do you smell? Oh, here. No. Oh, yeah. The room. Yeah. What does that smell? It's just, just musty? musty? Yeah, because yeah. it's like kind of humid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's check out that view. Think you can jump in the pool from here? F yeah, good. Well, these aren't even safety windows. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! There's a turbo in here. <laughs> Apparently our bathroom is turbocharged, well, supercharged. They are down the hall, but like around here or something. So relax, cool off, uh, and then we're gonna grab some food. Hopefully John Maxwell's working tomorrow because it would suck to make this trip and for him like not to be here. John Maxwell, you better be at work tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow. Good morning, Vietnam. It's a good thing today's last day because tensions are running high already and it's 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I called Eric. Oh, the AC just kicked on. We got hit with a wave of sour. This hotel room, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Called Eric to see what the game plan was for breakfast, and you could hear him and Justin <laughs> like yelling at each other. Back and forth. Old people crew. It's a Viagra. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Probably be terrible. We'll be like, damn, this Waffle House be hitting. <laughs> so we're going to Waffle House. Before that, I'm gonna run over to the room and see how they're all doing. Yeah. How you feeling? <laughs> 
last day. I'm just ready to be home. Yeah. Like, this has just been a lot of miles. My butt hurts a lot, like, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the Viagra. <laughs> Eventually. This is the first time I've been to Waffle House with you. You always want to come here. Wait, it's the first, your first time? With you, yeah. Because it's always an experience, bro. You never know if someone's going to get shot or stabbed. Or you catch, or you catch some kind of like explosive diarrhea from the food. It's an adventure. Yeah, that's what we need in the last 400 miles of this trip. Makes it more of an adventure. Surprise diarrhea. <laughs> Just don't be in the front. You'll be all right. I almost got my ass beat because I asked for pancakes at the Waffle House. Bro, the lady's about to throw them out the window. She's like, "Excuse me, this is Waffle House, not pancake." Here house. she is. But like, you can go to IHOP and get waffles, which is the international house of pancakes. But you can't get pancakes at the Waffle House. See in the bathroom already? Yeah. Jesus. He's like, y'all ready to go? Runs to the bathroom. <laughs> he's ready to go already. Yeah, he's ready to go. Off to John Maxwell. What's up, you son of a bitch? Yeah. How are you doing, dude? <laughs> Good to see you, yeah, man. Yeah, man, what y'all up to? Surprising you. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> man, it must be nice. We're here to film an episode with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why John Maxwell doesn't record anymore, because his lighting destroys footage. Your lighting here is awesome. Yeah, for working. <laughs> yeah, for working, not for recording. So Last time I came here, I hadn't done a face reveal, so that's true. We actually weren't in so, video together. So now just we in are. case you are curious, how much we actually look alike. <laughs> yeah, I always told people I'm like a cross between John Maxwell and Shade Tree Surgeon. So yeah. there you go. It's the real reason why I don't want to take his face off. The internet had enough ugly. <laughs> and you guys convinced me to do a face reveal to add to the ugly yeah. as per charity. So <laughs> why aren't people seeing content for me? Here, I'll show you around. Let's see. This one didn't start and he his exhaust was too loud, which is a rarity. I had to find quiet exhaust for him. This one is a blown motor that we've been dealing with. Cam job, you know, the old 9906 cam chain tensioner. So y'all have fun with that in the comment section. That bike has a wobble at 95 miles an hour, which I would never test. I just trust that that's the case. Those two are mine. I'm gonna sell the bad boy though. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yeah. I gotta make it run first. <laughs> <laughs> this one was a transmission and primary went boom. All that's done waiting on the transmission top cover that's on back order. That one's been sitting for a couple years. You can't even see the bottom of the gas tank. That's Stick how with. black the gas is. Mm. Rusty and gross. Smells so, delicious. But wait, there's more. This one he took apart. And we put it back together for him. This one has a clutch problem. What's going on with this gold and black one? Well, it's probably broken though. <laughs> <laughs> Wobble at speed, twist grip sensor problem, 08 to 11 touring, exhaust leak, flat tire. And he rode around on the flat tire and ruined the tire. I could have just put a tube in it, uh -huh. but it went flat and he rode on it, the tire's trash. Womp womp. No one on the internet has seen this. Put gravel out. So nice and gravel now. And we put what we call outside storage. That's a fancy word for a shed. Um, <laughs> it just sounds bad that I've parked your bike in a shed. That's Brandon, social media guy's bike. Lifter went, tore the case up. Oh, uh, this one doesn't run right. I haven't even looked at it yet. Two yeah. tires, he's a drill, drill sergeant, so he's, I don't know when we'll see him. His audio cuts in and out, so I have an amp on the way for him. That guy, we play hand bars on that guy's bike about probably a year and a half ago. Just hasn't picked it up. Uh, yeah. Well, that one's getting front rear legend suspension. So how's the uh, the front of the shop looking? I think the last time we came, you had just set up the little guest room. Yeah, probably. We got a bunch of slat wall and stuff now. Dude, how natural does this feel though? Like, I mean, you getting recorded and not. Do you miss well, it? I'm used to having to hold my own. Yeah, that's know? true. This room pretty much looks the same, except I got audio stuff coming. That's what's in the wall. I don't think the slot walls have made it into anything. Demo windshields. I bet I haven't done a video since I demo shields and I've had them forever. Yeah, I think last time around you had one slot wall, but you didn't really have anything hanging. You had yeah. the couch and then there was the TV, but I don't think it was hung up yet. If you guys are in Columbus, Georgia, and you want service done to your motorcycle, hit up yeah. John Maxwell right for now. those of you that don't know him because he hasn't been on YouTube for like a couple years. We used to be like really close homies yeah. in our YouTube struggles. <laughs>
That's true. I have no YouTube struggles because I have no YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> He opened up a shop and got super busy. Plus, he's got like nine kids. Decided to buy a dog also, and then hire employees. So, yeah, we all know how much they are to keep up with. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! I miss John Maxwell. It's good to stop by and be able to see him. Y'all ready? Ooh, such I confidence. How's it going so far in Florida? Hot, really, really hot. We went from low 60s overnight to like 95. Shock of the system for sure. Yeah, currently 95 with the heat index of 101. We stopped at a rest stop before this. We got our shirts wet like in the sink to continue on because it's so hot. It is brutal down here. What are you guys thinking of this heat in the last leg? Dude, I am cooking, and I've never done that water on the shirt thing before. It helps so much. Dude, so much. How to ride in the Florida summer here. <laughs> Just get your clothes wet. This is the last time. Hey, we're actually all going to be together on this trip. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the camaraderie. Wes decided to split off and leave. I don't know what happened there. Uncomfortable on his bike or what. Talked to us on the comms for a little bit, and then just decided to leave. So boo to Wes. And we just spent the last five, six days together. Like every almost day, 2,000 miles. On bikes, adventuring. Like how do you end a bike trip by breaking away? Dip it, just dip it. Especially at the last stretch. Like we're, we're two hours away from home. Wes, I'm not mad, bro. Just disappointed. <laughs> yeah, this will be the last time that you guys hear from uh, Bagger Bro, Eric, and uh, Greg. And then Justin will be in the shop tomorrow, so you'll see him, so. Get out, ride your bikes, go on adventures, cause you only have one life, don't wait till you can't do it anymore. And find some good homies to do it with. I don't have friends, I got family. Exactly. Enjoy the rest of the trek. We'll resume in the shop tomorrow, so see you guys tomorrow. Woo, back at the shop. All right, guys, back at the shop. Been a little bit since we got back. Transitioning off of the pan head that was supposed to go, so we finished the bike up. My goal for this bike, we're gonna finish it, stop it from leaking, because it's it's leaking, and also transmission issues. So we're gonna be working on this one in incoming episodes. One of these days, I will have this bike at the Dragon. We are talking about going back to the Dragon, but trailering a couple bikes, because I would love to take this one to Godzilla, uh, but then I also want to take a Grom. Freddy here, he did the Dragon on a Grom. Back at the shop here in Blockhead Garage. If you guys want to book service, blockheadgarage.com. Fill out the form, it'll put you in touch with Justin James. Actually, we have a Grom over there even that we're gonna start working on. Uh, it's getting a big bore. We've got a stage four nasty one over there. We've got lots of builds going on, so. If you guys want anything done, hit us up. So this is the last episode that you guys are gonna see of our trip to Tennessee, Tail of the Dragon, Blue Ridge Parkway, Cherahola, Maggie Valley, Wheels Through Time, tons of stuff. Amazing trip, I loved it, definitely wanna go back. What were your overall thoughts? I mean, it was sick. Like, I would love to go out there with the Grom, maybe a different bike. It's awesome to be, like, in the twisties. Going off of where this episode left off was, dude, that ride back, dude, in the heat. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know if I could do that ever again. It was the most scorching hot ride I've ever been on in my entire life. Yeah, that was brutal. So, <laughs> on the way back, we were basically stopping at rest stops, restaurants, gas stations, all that, and, like, soaking our shirts with water. Get back on the road, ride for a little bit and they'd be dry in like 15, 20 minutes. It was right. just so damn hot. That was my first time ever doing that. Literally soaked, cool, and then like he was saying, like three, five minutes later, it's like dry, and then you're just burning. Yeah. <laughs> I saw some people, they put like bags of ice in their front fairings right, and stuff. Right. You sent me that video. That yeah, was, that's the move. Smart move. Oh yeah. Following up this trip, we went like 2,100 something miles. You discover a lot about how you want your bike loaded out. So there's definitely some things that I would have changed, uh, some stuff that I didn't think about. 
before I left that I learned with doing all those miles uh, that I would have changed to Goldzilla. The bags performed great, but I'm gonna make a future video that you guys will see uh, in the future after this, going over my full loadout that I had for Goldzilla, uh, how she performed, and uh, what changes I would make. I'm gonna drop links to everything that I used. Hopefully that's insightful for you guys that are thinking about doing some longer trips on motorcycles. Whenever we left, Chris told me bye. Go away, get the out. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to say that to Chris here coming up because him and his fiance are gonna be going and riding Tail of the Dragon and Blue Ridge well, and- Well, I don't know that we're gonna do Tail of the Dragon, but we're gonna do everything around it. We're going to Blue Ridge, we're gonna visit Helen. I haven't been there, but they got a mountain coaster, so we're gonna ride that. That sounds super oh, fun. Nice. So you guys know that I've been pushing these guys to like start vlogging and doing stuff on their own more for content for the channel. And so we're gonna get Chris's helmet set up with a GoPro moto vlog set up essentially. And he's gonna try to film the trip. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get his perspective, so he's still going on the trip he just didn't go with us he's going with uh missy we got ourselves a cabin a little airbnb up there for about four nights hot tub on the river there i, I don't know what river we'll be on exactly but insert sexy music Chicken brown hot, hot tub, tub on the river <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is getting awkward. If you guys enjoyed this series of videos, if you didn't see uh, that first one, I'll be sure to drop all the links down in the description below. Anything else we want to throw in? Yeah. Lessons uh, learned? Dude, I just became a better rider. So if you want to become a better rider, go ride around the tail of the dragon. I don't want to say tail of the dragon makes you a better rider because all the stuff around it is way better. Blue Ridge was probably Blue Ridge, one of my favorites. That was fun. Blood Mountain was, dude. Dude, Blood I Mountain thought Blood was Mountain awesome, was the yeah. sickest. I rode Groms on the tail of the dragon and versus you riding your big bikes, it was not the bike for the environment, right? right. Like, Agreed. yeah, you can road through, it's it's nice, but you can't give it all, right? Yeah. Me riding Groms through it, paying third, fourth gear, and leaning and doing that, that's the bike from the environment, right? Yeah. Versus Blue Ridge, you have open roads, yeah, long, long right. yeah, yeah, you can actually get more out of the big bikes, yeah. out of, you know, out there. It so. goes back to that saying of, it's better to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow. Goldzilla on Tell the Dragon, you could tell like on the video that I posted up where it was just the pure sound, you know, just riding. It was like a pit bull on a leash, you know, just like trying to hold it back. And it's like, this is just, this is not the bike for the job. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your mom. Guess we'll see you on the next one. I'll take everybody. Peace.